Hey guys, it's Denita here for another action figure review. Today I'm having a look at the Republic Senators Bail Organa and Mon Mothma, who later went on to lead the Rebel Alliance. Uh, doing a two pack, well, I say two pack, two in one review because they relate to each other. Um, and just having a quick look basically at these two figures from Revenge of the Sith. So, to start off with, here's Bail Organa. There's the packaging on the back there. If you really want to pause and read that, you go ahead. No one's going to judge you. And there's the rest of the figure line. Um, these all have the same card back. The uh, basic card back. And all come with a stand. Bail Organa seems to come with one that I think is based off the Tanto 4. And then, as for Mon Mothma, she comes with a more basic, generic one that all the figures have, which is this greener one which I don't know if it's based off anything. It could be the Invisible Hand, it could be Mustafar, and it could be Polis, not Polis Massa. I suppose it could be Polis Massa, but I'm thinking of um, the place where Kieda Moody has uh, led the troops. Maigito, that was it. Anyway, um, so on the left here, we have Bail Organa. Bail comes with the stand, obviously, but he comes with uh, his blaster, which is just uh, a banana gun. Now, I caught the banana gun because it's kind of shaped like a banana. It's warped a bit in the plastic, my one. I do have another spare one somewhere, but uh, anyway, his uh, gun fits into his holster there. If you just move his leg forward, you can kind of get it to work. Otherwise, you're stuck behind this big green rube. Very difficult to get that in. Exceedingly difficult, actually, if I just turn the waist around. There we go. Uh, that did not work. Oh, did it? Yes, it did. Okay, so it kind of sticks out a bit. Well, that's the way it works. He comes with this plastic robe that goes over him, which is removable if you just pop his head off and slide the robe over the ball joint, like so. And then carefully move the arm through. If you wanted to have a look at the articulation, basically. So he has a ball jointed head, swivel and hinged arms, swivel at the elbow, swivel wrists, swivel wrist, uh, legs move forwards and backwards, and there's a swivel on the boot and a hinge there. So you can swivel the boot around, but it's kind of redundant because all you can do really is uh, move the foot side to side. You can't really move it out that way. So the only pose you can get in is a static one. Belgon is quite a tall figure. I'm not sure if Jimmy Smits is as tall as he's supposed to be. Uh, it's not really helpful comparing him next to Mon Mothma as uh, the actress is possibly not going to be as tall as Jimmy Smits seems to be. So I'm just going to pop the robe back on there. You can, in a special comic pack, get a... Uh, Bail Organa with a cloth robe one, which uh, is way too expensive to actually justify the costs of getting a soft goods robe. Um, blaster fits in the hand there, not very well, terribly actually. Um, I'm just going to place him behind the stand there and move on to Mon Mothma, who does have foot pegs, but they don't really fit on, well, they do, but they don't stick on there. They literally go in. So my Mothma comes with this stick. I'm going to call it that. Um, I'm not sure if she wants to uh, give a presentation or <laughs> if it's some official thing, but I'm fairly certain the uh, power of the Force figure of her also came with one. Uh, she also has this removable headpiece. So what's cool about having this figure is that since the release of Rogue One, um, you get the... Uh, Jimmy Smits and the actress who played uh, Mon Mothma uh, back as their respective characters uh, during the Rebel Alliance, uh, which is really cool to see. And if they want to bring them back again, that would be fantastic. In fact, why didn't we get a film with him? Well, never mind hiring Le Chief from James Bond, um, uh, Mads Mikkelsen. Why don't we just have a film to do with um, 
Bale or Garner, he could have been the one that's uh, hired some people to steal the plans and maybe Mon Mothman would have had a bit more to do. She's also in the um, Rebels TV series, so I would have a look at that because she is voiced by the actual actress who played her. Anyway, so she comes with the stick, like I said, and the uh, removable headdress piece. Um, I'm just going to put those on her so she doesn't drop them uh, and I lose them. Um, so she has swivel arms, swivel elbows, and swivel wrists. She has a swivel waist, and her legs are just static, so there's not really much you can do there. She's wearing actually a mini skirt kind of in there, um, so it's just moulded plastic. But yeah, it's a nice figure as it is. Um, I would recommend getting her. Now, the reason I put uh, the stands in front of Bale rather than just sticking back on there, which you probably didn't even consider as something I was going to talk about, is because... I will show you what you can do with these pointless stands. If you get enough of them and have something like some spare radar dishes, you can make a bridge, or if you've got the a multiple of the uh, Empire Strikes Back Saga Darth Vader's, you, or you just two, you can um, cut off and bend in half the uh, bits and uh, just move these two out of the way. Got two bridges either side. Kind of reminds me of Battlefront, but yeah, the point is you have this space where you can stack your figures, display them if you want to, I suppose, and then, uh, or you could reenact the uh, fight on Mr. Far. Um, yeah, I, to do this, I literally just took you know, multiple ones of these. Um, oh, ah, never mind. <laughs> Everything's going to hell. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, we got uh, a couple of these and. Um, messing with me there we go you get a couple of these cut off the um the ends on this bit i think it's just snip up there and then stick them on and i think it's the same for the other side i just sand it down and stuck it on you can see with miller put you just fill in the cracks there um and make it flat on the edge like so basically if you wanted a comparison shot you can see i got rid of the top corner there um, but yeah, it allows you to make a bridge, um, or multiple bridges, um, and do what you want with them, stack them. You know, I suppose that could reenact Uta Power, I didn't even think about that, uh, Uta Power or whatever, where Obi-Wan fights General Grievous. But uh, yeah, that's just a nifty little idea that you can make your own if you want to. Uh, I had uh, this one in the other videos, and I just got this one because I got a load of these base plates, and I'm going to make another one out of... Um, this if I get more of these and I've got two of these Tante 4 ones I say Tante 4 because they're white and I didn't realize which ones I came with because I've got a loose one and this one so I'll combine them and make a single platform and you know it's just a good way of um, incorporating them into uh, storage or display or just whatever it just looks a bit cool and um, yeah it's a shame really that we don't um, have uh, I've got paint in my hands um, a proper feasible way of doing this uh, other than just being creative like so uh, because the actual things didn't actually stick together um, but yeah thanks for having a look at Bail Organa and Mon Mothma from Revenge of the Sith the Senators uh, I will see you in the next video review